America and Iran are on the brink of war, this close to a direct military clash. It's been brewing for a while now. Over the last couple of days, things came to a head. Iran reportedly shot down an American military drone. U.S. President Donald Trump ordered a retaliatory airstrike, but then he changed his mind. Minutes before American aircraft were to hit Iranian targets, this mission was aborted. They launched another attack, this one in the cyberspace. Reports in the American media say that the Trump administration launched cyber attacks. A Washington Post report said that the U.S. disabled Iranian rocket launch systems. Iran, on the other hand, insists that America's strike was unsuccessful. They have admitted to this and announced it. If this is their official stance, they have made a big mistake. They have conducted a cyber operation contrary to the international law and against an independent government. They can be sued and we will use this confession as a basis of our legal case against them. The anger in Iran is palpable, so much so that Iranian MPs shouted the words death to America in their parliament. Can't have a nuclear weapon, says Donald Trump. Iran says it was never working on one. What triggered this crisis was America's decision to exit the nuclear deal and slap sanctions on Iran. President Donald Trump unilaterally walked out of the agreement in 2017. Others who were part of the deal say it holds, and that's the Europeans. But beyond these words of support, Europe has done precious little for Iran. For the past two years, they've not been able to insulate Iran from American sanctions, sanctions which have crippled Iran's economy. So Iran too has decided to dump the deal. What does that mean? It means that Iran will once again aggressively pursue its nuclear program. Both sides say that they're willing to talk, but none wants to blink first. It's the classic impasse. Meanwhile, other players are at work, America's allies in West Asia included. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo met with the King of Saudi Arabia to discuss the situation in Iran. He will also travel to the UAE. Before leaving the U.S., Pompeo said that Washington wants to negotiate with Iran. We're prepared to negotiate with no preconditions. They know precisely how to find us. And I am confident that um, at the very moment they're ready to truly engage with us, we'll begin, we're able to begin these conversations. I, I'm looking forward to that day. The, the president has said repeatedly we want a brighter future for the people of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Those negotiations are the gateway. That, that's how we'll ultimately achieve this.